Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 19. So the very first design is by John the Stupid Guy trying to be the engineer and he made this this cool jet which is actually made after the Sabre jet, the American Sabre jet. And uh, because of that, uh, he named it the Jabra jet, which is I think uh, misspelt because in the actual description he gave me was yeah, slightly different when it comes to the name. But nevertheless, we will be testing this thing out and let's see what he has written. I'm actually just gonna read out the description that he's given. So Jabra jet is based on the American Sabre jet to use the bombs. Those bombs are nosedive bombs. So you have to go very high altitude and then drop. All right, let's try that out. Let's try it out. In fact, I already have tried it out. I was, I was practicing myself to see how good I was. I got like within meters of the target and the target is down there. It's a, a house design that I made several months ago, which is basically just a, for target practice. I call it the punching bag. No, I just made it up. Anyway, so I think the best thing to do would be go straight up, nosedive just like what has been suggested. Alright, alright, and if you take a look, so we have, so this here is the the bombs. We have one, two bombs, or really they're, they're missiles, right, because we actually have engines that will propel them forward, as you can tell. And these things here that look like bombs, they really do nothing. They are there, I guess, just for looks. Uh, it would be cool if you could decouple them and use them, but all right, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, we're going straight up. Let's time up a little because we have to nosedive. We're actually quite high. We weren't meant to go this high. Anyway, let's point our nose down. Down, down. Okay. Straighten this thing out. Let's see how good we are at nosediving. <laughs> Again, I did practice before, once, I got it, second time, and I sort of messed up. <laughs> anyway, let's see how well we, we can do this. Let's see, any other instructions that we have missed out on? I have tested it, but my prediction is, ah, okay, that's for something else. All right, here we go, here we go. May we have to turn off the engine, throttle up, because again, these are missiles, technically. Spacebar, that's for the bombs and... Oh, oh man, that was so close. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Oh. <laughs> okay, we actually got it. Uh, what, what was that sound just made? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, that was, that was very close. Okay, very close. What I'll do is I'll try it again. And I must say, I'm, I'm very surprised we just saved this jet from crashing. Very, very surprised. That just shows how good I am. <laughs> no, I, I'm not that good. Anyway, it's the design. It's design, actually. The fact that I was able to do that quick maneuver shows how well this was made. So well done, John, the stupid guy trying to be engineer. It shows that you are not stupid, but in fact, an engineer. <laughs> okay, we'll try again. In fact, I'll back off a little. And let's go back into position. Okay, all right, all right. Up, up and away. <laughs> All right, turn off the engine, time up a little, and slowly decelerating. Okay, nose down. Let's proceed to do the dive. Wheels retracted, because they should have been at the very beginning. Anyway, let's forget that we did that. Engine off. And you may be wondering why I turn off the engine, it is because, as you may know, oh, I just pressed that wax in. These, as I mentioned, these missiles are, well, they are propelled by having the engines on. And if I have this on, while we're going straight down, we might actually smash. So as you can see, look at this. Oh, I actually hit it. I hit it. I did it. But uh, these engines weren't actually on because I didn't throttle up. No. Oh, well. Wait, I did hit it, right? There's no damage. <laughs> that, that sucks. <laughs> no damage whatsoever. Okay, whatever. I'm done with that design. <laughs> it shows how bad I was at that part. Anyway, let's proceed on to the next design, which is is called Whitebird. Some of you may know this was actually made after the design known as Blackbird, but it's called Whitebird because of the color. Yeah. Uh, so let's. I've did test this out before. It is definitely not a high altitude 
plane because you can just take one look at it then you know it has two circular air intakes and the you may be wondering what these air spike engines are doing right on the front here is because on the actual blackbird design the air intakes look very much alike just like these engines do which is why they were placed like like they are there uh, what i'll do is i'll just fly around here to test out just to show you guys its uh, maneuverability see how well it can go it's okay in my opinion mm. but uh, it does struggle to lift up a little has to go to the end of runway uh, perhaps if these engines were slightly more powerful this thing would do much better in its performance but nevertheless yeah, you, you can't lift up right in the beginning at the end of the runway you have to uh, it's okay you can fix that up of course by sort of making this wheel slightly slightly lower uh, but anyway lift it up as you can see it's doing okay what is that dodo uh that must mean something i made a long time ago there's a design back there that says dodo <laughs> did i make that or someone else make that no it must have been a design given to me oh whatever i forget i do forget it, it has been a long time <laughs> since i've tried this out and there are no missiles on this no bombs well, realistically speaking, the Blackbird doesn't have those things, right? At least I don't think so. It's just there to fly at high altitudes, I guess. <laughs> In this case, this is, doesn't really fulfill the job well. <laughs> uh, it's okay. You could fix it just by making this an air hogging design and maybe adding a liquid fuel engine somewhere or something like that. That would give it extra boost. Anyway, so let's try and land this. We are getting awfully close to the ground. Engines off. Usually it's best not to really have your engines off at this point. I mean, having your engines on to like, what, 10% or something will allow you to just propel forward a little, but if you have it off, then you have to rely on the gliding of this plane, so. Okay, here we go, we are gliding. And landed, okay, good. The landing, break sun. And yeah, oh good, nice. Okay, so what I'll do is show off the very next design, which is made by Cruzan, Cruzan AK. Some of you may know him. He is a KSB YouTuber. He makes a whole bunch of cool designs. Uh, this design he sent, he made it a long time ago, and I think it was like last year, <laughs> and I still haven't used it up until now. Uh, but anyway, I guess we'll throw it off. It still does work. Thankfully, it still works. Uh, it does consist of two missiles. We have a whole bunch of air intakes. So this is an air hogging design. And it, it is this design was made after, let me see, the battle, I think it was, what was it called? Let me see. Uh, I'll just read out the description that Cruzan provided. <clears throat> it's a fairly functional VTOL SSTO designed after the Viper Mark II in Battlestar Galactica. Aha, uh -huh. that's where it came from. Interesting, because I, I really don't know about Battlestar Galactica. I don't follow that stuff. Uh, is that a game? Probably. I don't look that stuff up. I'm a little bit behind <laughs> on things. Anyway, so this is a VTOL, as you can see. SSTO, good stuff. Uh, I think that, yeah. So we have uh, some secret engines hidden on the inside. It appears to be... I'm trying to find out whether those engines are the VTOL engines... Wait. Wait. It's here. I'm highlighting it, but you can't see it. It's on the inside somewhere. Yeah, let's let's try and find it. Oh, we have to go through this mess. Oof. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's somewhere there. Uh, I guess whatever. It's it's very well hidden. So I guess that's a good feature to have. Yeah. A very good feature. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back once we are orbiting cabin and here we are i just got into an orbit around the cabin and now we are going to deorbit, go to the kc and if we make it we will end up shooting at the house design that we have so let's see how that works uh, i really do want to test out these missiles because they look yeah interesting interesting we've used this type of missile before uh, in fact yeah and this thing does have quite a lot of air intakes if, if you have a look and it really is necessary in order to 
get into orbit. I mean, without this many air intakes, it just it won't work. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm not even going to try counting. <laughs> uh, there's a lot. Uh, but it's not there just for functionality. Is there? It is there, of course, for the aesthetics because it does look very much alike to the Battlestar Galactica design. Uh, because Cruzan actually gave a link uh, which actually compares both designs on on different angles, and it really does look very similar, except for the color. Of course, the color is the only different different thing. Hmm. The KC is right there where my mouse is hovering. Well, I ended up crashing into the ocean, so... <laughs> no, it was deliberate. It was easier because I was too far away from the KC. And I figured, oh, you know what I'll do? Let's turn on the engines. I think these are the VTOL engines. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Very well made. I like this. I like this. Very good stuff. We'll slowly fly towards the target. Kind of. <laughs> kind of slowly. Press 2 so we can propel ourselves forward a little. Turn that off. Uh, let's throttle up a little because it seems to be falling. And yep, we're good. Throw down. Down. A little more, please. <laughs> let's try and get our aim once we get close enough. Uh, we are decelerating a little. Yeah, we will be now. Okay, there we go. Now we are just falling. Oof. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. Okay, I think we can turn that off. Let's fire. That is just terrible. I missed. Okay. I think I need some more practice. Because remember, you need to prepare for the future multiplayer where we will be having competitions and shooting at each other. Uh, anyways, let's go check out the very final design. We have two final submissions that are made by Indie Dev 3 d uh, Both these designs look very similar, except one has more missiles, uh, missiles than the other does. <laughs> so this is VTOL version 1.0, and then we have the next one, which is VTOL 1.0B. The B one is the one that we want to try. Mm -hmm. That's locked and loaded, as you can tell. Yeah, look at that. Well-made missiles and just a whole bunch of bombs. Wait, can these? Yeah, you can decouple them. Ah, oh, interesting. Wait, is it the coupler? Ah, it's hidden on the inside. That I have not seen. I have not that. I have not seen that done before. Okay. Now that's a good idea. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, let, let's see how this goes. We have to shoot at the house because we miss so much. <laughs> we keep on missing. Damn. Let's hope uh, Indie Dev did well with this design. I haven't actually test. I don't think I've tested it. No, I haven't. Okay, this is my first time testing it. So let's see how how well made it is, or maybe let's see how bad I am at using it. It's probably just my fault. Okay, okay. All right. I see that the action groups have been set. Number two. Whoa. Okay. Oh, we can fly with this. Let's slow ourselves down. There we go. I, I you know, what? I did test this out before. Now I think about it, and the first go, I screwed up. <laughs> My fault. Okay, let's 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 throw it down. Come on, man. You know what? I think parachutes would be good on this. Oh yes, we actually got. Did we get it? No, we didn't. What the? <laughs> we are so bad. I actually, you know what? I'm I'm really liking this. The controls on this are very good. Good controls. Wait, let's not regret saying that. Come on. Come in. We have to rotate. How do you expect us to? Put all up. Put all up. Put all up. Was extended. Oh man. Oh, I did. I did it again. I did it. Restart. You didn't see that. Yep. Uh, just imagine that everything turned out well just then. Okay. Alright, we seem to be moving forward. In fact, let's see if we can hit the target from here. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, okay, we turned on the other engine. Oh, no, VTOL engine, come back on. Please. Uh. What? What? Did we just get through it? How the hell? How do we do that? Oh, there we go. Suck it! 
Oh, oh, there's a bumps. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we got one. <laughs> that did basically nothing. Whoa, whoa. Okay, parachutes. No parachutes. What the? What? 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 Was that deliberate? I don't think we were meant to do that. No, we were definitely not meant to do that. Alright, let's 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 quickly explain what we just did there. Okay, there's wheels. Uh, I know we just decoupled them. They are not there to be decoupled. They're there, in fact, to extend the reach so that this thing does not scrape on the ground. Because, as you can tell, we have many things that could be very close to the ground with it if it wasn't for this, this separator thing. Wait, what's it called? I, I forget the name of it. Uh, let me check, let me check, let me check. Wait, wait, is it even in this section? Here it is. Structural pylon. That's what it is, right? Yeah. If it wasn't for that, then this thing would would be touching the ground. Oh, uh, but yeah. There we go. Uh, you know what? Is there a way to disable the explosive charge in this structural pylon? I haven't actually checked. No, there isn't. Okay, that would be useful. Because as a... I mean, structural pylon... Uh, I don't know. I guess it would be cool if you could disable the injection force or perhaps adjust the force. That would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, I'm, I'm asking for too much. Um, anyway, I think that is it for us. We did get a couple shots and failed miserably at times, but I will have to thank all of the design submissions. So I thank uh, John, the stupid guy trying to be an engineer, Cruzan, and IndieDev3D. So thanks all and see you next time. Take care.